Hey, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing leak code problem number 11, container with most water. If you haven't already, go ahead and take a look at valid palindrome where I implement a two pointer system. We're going to be needing that for the solution in container with most water today. Alrighty, with that being said, let's get started. Okay, let's go ahead and walk through this problem statement together. I'm not going to lie, this problem statement is a little bit confusing, so follow along and we can figure it out together. You are given an integer array height of length n. There are n vertical lines drawn such that the two endpoints of the ith line are i of 0 and i of height of i. Find two lines that together with the x-axis form a container, such that the container contains the most water. Return the maximum amount of water a container can store. Notice that you may not slant the container. Okay. So let's go ahead and take a look at example one. So we have an integer of uh, integer array called height, and that integer array contains one, eight, six, two, five, four, eight, three, and seven. Okay, what do we do with this information? Well, we wanna figure out a container. So we wanna figure out the max container in this array. How do we do that? Well, if you think about a container in real life, you have two edges, right? So we're going to start off with edge of one and edge of seven, right? And if you think about a real life container again, well, a real life container could probably only hold, well, it could only hold the maximum amount of the minimum height, which is one. Because if we try to put water in a container that was like this, well, all the water would fall out, right? So our maximum height is actually our minimum height. So our maximum height is one. And then we need to calculate the length because that's how we get an area, right? We need to get the area of the container. So we're looking at height of one and how far is this height of seven? Well, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so now we have our length. Our length is eight, our height is one. Eight times one is equal to eight, right? That's our area. So that's gonna be our first output. I know it says 49 here, but that's gonna be our first output. Okay, we need to keep doing this calculation, but how are we gonna keep doing this calculation? Well, if the minimum is less than the maximum, so let's say pointer one is here at zero and the height is one and it's less than the height of seven, well then we're gonna increment pointer one. We're gonna go to the next one. So the next one is actually eight. But like I said before, our max height is actually our minimum height, which is seven, right? So we can only hold the water up to seven. If we try to do eight, the water would fall out. So we don't wanna do that. We wanna just check seven. So that's our height. And then our length is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven times seven is what? 49. Okay, and then we're gonna keep doing this all the way until we check all of our all of our lengths, okay? All of our heights. All right, so that's the first point, uh, first part. We wanna go ahead and create a pointer system. So let's go ahead and start that with length of one. Um, sorry, pointer one and pointer two. So let pointer one equal zero, because we're gonna start at the beginning of the height array. And then let pointer two equal height.length minus one, because we're gonna start at the end of the array. And then from there, we're gonna keep track with a variable called max, and we're gonna set that equal to zero. And while pointer one is less than pointer two, we're gonna keep doing this iteration. So like I said before, we wanna keep going until we reach the middle, right? So until we reach this one and this one, we wanna calculate those heights. We wanna make sure that we get all of the heights, all of the areas in this array. So pointer one is less than pointer two. All right, the next thing that we need to do is calculate our minimum height and our length. So how do we get our length? Our length is going to be pointer two because pointer two is always gonna be the greater index minus pointer one. And that's how we're gonna get our length. Now we need to get our max height, which again is gonna actually be our min height. So it's going to be math.min and we're going to say height of pointer one and height of pointer two. 
So what we're doing here is we're getting the max height. So what we're going to get on the first go around is actually one, right? And that's going to be the max amount of water that we can contain. And then the next thing that we want to do is we want to calculate our area. So let area equal max height times length. And then the last thing that we want to do max, I'm actually going to call this max container instead. It's going to be the maximum amount of water that we can hold. So we want to check our area against the max container. So currently max container is zero, but our area is actually eight. So we're going to say max container equals math dot max area and max container. We're going to compare the two. And if whichever one is better, we're going to contain that one. And at the very end, we're going to get our max output. Okay. So if pointer one, if height of pointer one is less than height of pointer two, we're going to move this pointer along. So we're going to say pointer one plus plus, and then we're going to say else pointer two minus minus. And for the sake of example, let's go ahead and console log out this max container. We're going to see the max container grow and shrink. And yeah, let's go ahead and check our area as well. So we're going to console log out our area. And I'm going to throw in another area here. And let's say max container down here. Yeah, comma, comma that, and then let's go ahead and run this. Okay, cool. So we can see here that our area is going to keep growing and growing. It's going to keep going. So the first one is going to be eight. The next area is going to be 49, right? Because seven times seven is 49 and then 18, 40, 16, 15 and four. And you can see here that's continuing to check all the way through, but our maximum container is always going to be 49, right? It's this logic right here, this logic, this max container math.max, that's going to be the logic that checks our max container as we keep going through this array. So the last thing that we want to do is we want to return max container. And this is going to be our last answer. Let's go ahead and run that. All right, everything looks good. We got our first test cases through. Let's go ahead and submit this. All right, perfect. So we ran this at 70 milliseconds and 49 megabytes. This is always gonna change, but this is pretty good for this problem. Alrighty, folks, that's all I have for today. I hope you have a great day and a great rest of your week.